Okay, we're going to do a comparison of stable diffusion with DALI 2. And what I've done here is I've run the sample Colab notebook. You need to have a Colab Pro subscription in order for this to work. I happen to have that. So I've run the sample uh, Colab notebook. I'll include a link in the description of the video to this Colab notebook. And for a single iteration, it takes about a minute to get the results for a given prompt. And in this case, the prompt that I wanted to use, go up here to the cell, is Guy Fox meets Santa Claus. So let's see what Stable Diffusion provided as output with that prompt. And here we have it. It's not bad. Um, Guy Fox isn't entirely recognizable, but the nice thing here is that Santa Claus has kind of a Father Christmas vibe about him, so it has that kind of uh, old English look, which is sort of cool. So now we're going to try a different prompt. This time it's Banksy meets Santa Claus. And we'll run the cell again. It takes about a minute to run from beginning to end. So while it's running, let's talk a little bit about the comparison between Stable Diffusion and DALI 2. So uh, as you see, each iteration, each prompt generation in Stable Diffusion using Colab Pro takes about a minute. The first one took about two minutes, three minutes to complete, and each of the prompts following that takes about a minute. So we'll let this run for a bit. And when it's done, we'll take a look and see what it generates for Banksy meets Santa Claus. And we'll also see what Dolly 2 generated for the same prompt. It's interesting to see how the both systems generate uh, images that are different but also similar for similar prompts. This probably has to do with them being trained on this. There's probably a decent amount of overlap in terms of the corpus on which they were trained. All right, so here you can see it took about a minute to get the uh, results here. And the following cell, we want to look at the next image that was generated. So we'll just change the value here for the image from one to two and see what it generates. Oh, we got Rick rolled again. And here you can see the results for Dali with the same prompt, Banksy meets Santa Claus. Now, uh, the generation of these images takes about 10 seconds, so it's considerably faster than it is for a stable diffusion running in a Colab Pro notebook. Also, as you can see, you get multiple outputs from Dali 2. Now, one of the downsides of Dali 2 is you get, uh, fifth, currently you get 15 free prompts per month, and after that, there is a small per prompt uh, cost whereas Stable Diffusion is free. You can see some examples of previous things that I've generated here. So this one is Banksy meets Satoshi Nakamoto. Interesting to see two, uh, two individuals don't have faces, how it manages to render that. This is something which I wasn't too impressed with, a British Leyland car from the 2020s. Um, you can see with at least some of the images have kind of Britishness about them. None of them really look like their current vehicles. And of course, British Leyland has not been around for, oh man, it's like 40 years now. So uh, this is again, illustrating something that doesn't exist. Um, this is a practical application. I'm uh, writing a book right now and I needed an illustration of a Model T. So rather than going looking for some clip art, generated something from uh, Dolly 2 that the publisher's artist can use as a starting point to generate something for the book. And here's another interesting example from Dolly 2. This is Uncle Sam greeting John Bull. So uh, in a few of these, you kind of get a sense. So here, uh, the one on the left here, John Bull isn't really, it's not really the cultural interpretation. So it's literally a bull. Um, this middle one's not bad. You kind of get Uncle Sam. It kind of the, both of them are sort of mix up, kind of a combination. It looks like Uncle Sam is maybe wearing John Bill's hat. Uh, here you have Tony Blair meeting Uncle Sam with curly slippers. And then something truly alarming on the right. Um, it looks like John Bull is indeed a bull and has multiple hands. And the other character is wearing a red coat. So I think that one went a little bit over the rails, off the rails, I should say. 
But the interesting thing is, the nice thing is, that Dolly 2 gives you multiple examples. And here is an example of Guy Fox meeting Santa Claus. So uh, some creepy stuff here, definitely creepy on the right, but at least it did generate something from the example. So we're back in the Stable Diffusion Colab Notebook right now, and the prompt here was the Easter Bunny having dinner with Santa Claus. So we definitely have a Santa Claus here. Uh, it looks like he has some Easter eggs around him. Don't see the Easter Bunny here right now, so not a great result from Stable Diffusion. But let's go over and see what we get from Dolly 2. So we'll have the Easter Bunny having dinner with Santa Claus. So it's fairly quick. Like I say, it's about 10 seconds to generate four images. And that, uh, that time frame really seems to be a little bit less of a drain. The minute it takes for stable diffusion really is a little bit of a drain. So here we have four examples, maybe more, more cartoony, more traditional. It looks like uh, Santa Claus here has kind of a leonine look and he may have... Um, Maybe having a, an adult beverage there. That does not look like milk. And a couple of uh, somewhat creepier examples. But definitely uh, the Easter Bunny, definitely Santa Claus. So a uh, reasonable result from Dolly too. So these are just a couple of examples of comparing the results from Stable Diffusion and Dolly 2. Um, performance is a little bit faster with Dolly 2. You get the results more quickly. However, you do need to pay after 15 prompts per month. Uh, you need to have a Colab Pro subscription uh, if you want. If you don't have a local GPU and you want to use the Stable Diffusion uh, Colab notebook. Um, and generally speaking, from what I've seen so far, from the experiments I've done so far, uh, they don't all involve uh, mythical people. But the experiments I've done so far, I get generally better results from Dolly 2 than from Stable Diffusion. But it's interesting to see uh, the difference between what's generated from both sides. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So I encourage you to try out both systems, Stable Diffusion and Dolly 2.